<laughs> Not only was Jay-Z honored with the Industry Icon Award Saturday at Clyde Davis's pre-Grammy gala, he also sat down with our good friend Van Jones for the first episode of his new CNN show, The Van Jones Show. Oh, and let good. me tell you, the interview got everyone's attention. Even the President of the United States on a Sunday mm. morning felt the need to come for Jay on Twitter, you know, after he saw that on Fox and Friends. But <laughs> this is what he tweeted, right? Now, we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about how candid Jay was because Van had asked Jay why he fought so hard to save his marriage to Beyonce after cheating. Here's what Jay had to say. For us, we chose to fight for our love, for our family, to give our kids a different outcome. You see, see, you know, to break that, that cycle. Um, for black men and women, you know, just to see a different outcome, like you were saying. Wow. Powerful. Very good. Ladies, what do you think of Jay's honesty regarding his marriage? Um, there was another clip that actually that was in this. I watched the entire interview. Yes. And one of the parts I thought was so dope was he was like, she's my soulmate. Yeah. yeah. Like, how yeah. could you not fight for that? She's my soulmate. Yeah. And I think that that, there's something to be said about that. Now, honestly, I think that it also made me question things like, well, when is a marriage worth fighting for and when is it not? Because right. that's an honest mm -hmm. yeah. question and everybody has to deal with that and figure out what's right for them and what isn't. But I think in this case, him saying that he genuinely felt that that was his soulmate and that that's worth fighting for. Whereas, you know, one of the biggest examples of divorce that I saw was my parents. And I don't think they felt that way about each other. I think people sometimes marry for different reasons. And sometimes you look back and you're like, maybe I rushed into something. Maybe, I, maybe this just wasn't the right person all along. Mm -hmm. So I think that makes a huge difference. But if you genuinely are really compatible with somebody and you're like, yo, that's my soulmate, it's worth fighting for. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Another thing he said in that interview that really touched me is that we are not a celebrity couple. We yes. just happen to be a couple that are celebrities. Yes. And so you, you just felt the, the, the tension of what it takes to really make mm -hmm. a marriage last, you know. And I'm with you. I'm a child of divorced parents. And an interesting thing is that when my brothers and I talk about marriage, just three of us total, um, they don't want to get married and they don't want to have kids. Mm. And I know I come from a marriage that divorced, and I don't want to have kids either. Do you ever want to get married again, Jeannie? Um, as of right now, no. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing. Once something has happened to you in your past, you don't know if you would have been different if it was different when it started. My parents mm -hmm. divorcing was very traumatic mm -hmm. because, not because they divorced, but because they didn't talk about it. Mm. My mom was ashamed that she was doing this. My dad felt embarrassed that he couldn't save the marriage. And actually, they live still. It lived, and also when my mom comes over, they live in separate bedrooms in the household. And now wait, that wait, I wait, think wait, back... Wait, wait, wait. You're going to have to clarify that. <laughs> wait, they, that yeah, when she comes home, she lives in a separate bedroom, and my dad lives in a separate bedroom. We but co in the same house? The same Why house. are they still in the same house? Because they love each other, and they love, and they do it for the kids. And it's normal now. Wow. But when they were divorcing, it wasn't. But here's my crazy part. Most of my Asian friends all had households like that, where the two parents were not at all married or not divorced because sometimes they didn't want to spend the money on the divorce, but they still coexist in the same house. And actually, that was jacked up for us because mm -hmm. we didn't understand what was happening. My parents mm -hmm. didn't want to talk about it. So it's not that they divorced, but it was the cycle like Jay was explaining, that what you do, what you see in your, in your marriage mm -hmm. and you continue towards your kids can really create that generational curse. Mm -hmm. yes. So today, I'm healing from it. I talk to my parents. I, um, I uh, make sure that they express where they're feeling, how they're moving on. Because the second you're, you as parents are going through something, but you don't let the kids know when they're old enough, they will see it, they will feel it, and it will become a pattern. Yeah.